It's the Full Force News Burst Extra, brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com, with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. Emily reveals a number of classified characters at MCM London Comic Con, but what is a mole rat? Earlier this morning, or afternoon depending on where you were located at the time, Emily and Hasbro conducted a toy panel at MCM London Comic Con for a number of their brands including G.I. Joe Classified. We were treated to a number of reveals including digital renders of the female Cobra Officer Trooper 2-pack, Big Ben, and name-only reveals for Shadow Tracker and Mole Rats. What in the world is a mole rat? Well, according to a number of videos that emerged shortly after the event, but not soon enough for us to see before we went live with the latest Full Force Freakly, the mole rat will remain a mystery for now, but sounds like we are dealing with something brand new. The line has found its footing design-wise and has stayed pretty close to the original characters for the most part, so getting something brand new is quite exciting. The only thing that really comes to mind, if I ignore everything with a rat in the title, is something akin to an army builder to help battle tunnel rats in the dark depths of the world's sewers and underground tunnels. Whatever it turns out to be, I'm here for it. In addition to the mole rats, we got a bit more information regarding the female Officer Trooper 2-pack and Big Ben. Emily stated categorically that the 2-pack is indeed separated into an officer and trooper. The officer gets the tan straps while the trooper gets the black straps. It's clear that you can swap the heads around which allows for the consumer's preference in terms of who gets the top job in that regard. For Big Ben we got a few more pieces of info. Firstly, the initial images that came out of the con showed him in what looked to be his original deco or very close to it, but having seen better images and with Emily also explaining that he comes in a special missions deco, opens the figure up a bit more. What could this special mission be? We know that Walmart will be getting a theme for Classified soon in a similar way to Target, apologies for using the forbidden word there, and we know that Tiger Force and Python Patrol are the current theme for the Big T, so could we be seeing Night Force here? Even though Big Ben has never been on the Night Force team, this particular deco does look very Night Forcey. I'm just happy that we will inevitably get the original deco in the future. Also, could the theme's logo be on his right shoulder? We know that the Union Jack is on his left shoulder, so maybe this is a fun clue. Either way, we will find out very soon. Finally, Emily explained that the alternate gas mask head allows for Big Ben to become a sort of troop builder as well, so if you want to buy a few, you can set Big Ben up with an entire squad of one-dimensional wardrobe warriors. I have a strong feeling this is a very big nod towards the Palatoy SAS Force Eagle figure, and I love that they added this particular head in with Big Ben. Genius. Right, that's all for this News Burst Extra. Expect more of these when I get the chance to do them. Stay fresh, cheese bags, and as always, Full Force. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst Extra. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time, and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force